Hello friends, today we're gonna be uh, refilling this air, air conditioning system with Freon. Um, just gonna be like a reference video, but this is a 2012 Chevy Traverse. So uh, these cars, their air conditioning system fail a lot. So, but usually you, you can take this information and apply to any vehicle, you know? So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna locate where your ports, okay? You're gonna have a low, low pressure side and a high pressure side port, okay? So in this case, this one right here is gonna be your high pressure, uh, high pressure side port. You know because it's coming from the from the uh, small pipe, okay? And then underneath there, by the by the oil filter, you see the low pressure side port. You see that the the pipe or is coming is bigger. Now you have your gauges here. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight forward and do it. If you have any comments, any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, all right? So you just gotta uh, connect your gauges. Like I told you, this is gonna be your high pressure, which is the red one. So to, in order to hook this, you gotta pull this back and then uh, push it in, see, like this. See, it goes there. And then the down there by the oil filter is gonna be your low pressure side port, okay? So same thing, just pull back and then hook it in. Let's see if we can do it here. All right, I think I got it. Now, uh, there is one uh, trick I wanna show you. Okay, when you're opening your, your valve here, it tells you, usually it tells you where it opens, where it closes, right? So you wanna open it until you see your gauge here moving and just leave it right there. Don't go farther than that. Okay, so you start opening, 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 opening opening right there you see you don't you don't open it anymore because you could damage the uh, the valve in the port okay so just do the same thing with the uh, low pressure side all right now uh, now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and apply vacuum to the system okay you need a vacuum pump a uh, it just has these ports where you can hook your gauges. All right, just like this. Okay, this is too small. Usually they, they got like two uh, sizes. It's gonna be this one right here. Okay, now we have our vacuum pump connected. We wanna leave it running like for 20, 30 minutes from 20 to 30 minutes, you're gonna see here in your gauge, the low pressure gauge, that is gonna go negative pressure. See that right there is in zero? So it's gonna go negative because there's gonna be vacuum in the system. So once you, once you take, it takes you like 20, 30 minutes with your vacuum pump running, you're gonna shut it off and you wanna make sure, you wanna make sure that it holds the vacuum that the vacuum doesn't go back to zero. The, the gauge doesn't go back to zero. Because that's the way you know that, uh, that there is no leaks in the system, okay? So, you're gonna let this run for half an hour, then you're gonna let it, uh, with the system closed, you're gonna let it sit for one hour at least, and then you're gonna check it out, that check that your vacuum didn't move. So that way you know you don't have a leak on the system, okay? Okay, now I have the vacuum pump running. You can see here how the, the, ga the gauge on the low side came like from zero, now it's in negative area, okay? So now we're just gonna let it sit there for half an hour and we'll see later on. 
All right, friends, now this pump has been working like for half an hour now. So, as you can see, the pressure here, the vacuum, is like minus 30, right there, or 30. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna go ahead and close the system, cause it's open, right? So we're gonna close these two valves right here, just close them all the way, close here, close here, shut your pump off. And we're gonna leave it one hour, sitting like this. You see, you wanna make sure that one hour from now, this uh, gauge right here, the, the low gauge where you get the vacuum reading, it's in the same spot. If this uh, needle moves towards this zero, it's because you have a leak and it is like sucking air in, okay? Let's do that. All right, now this been sitting like for more than one, more than one hour right now. Uh, and as you can see, see? The needle is in the same place, all right? So that means that we are green for refilling the system with Freon RE134A, okay? All right, so let's do it. All right, friends, so now this is what you're gonna use to, to, to make sure you are in the proper balance, okay? You need to know what's your temperature, okay? Uh, here we got a 80, 80 some, you know, you can, so you can go here to the 80 in the table, okay? This comes with the gauges, you know, when you got your, your manifold gauges, uh, this comes in there, so. Uh, so you're gonna go ambient temperature to 80, okay? So you see that your low side gauge should be between 40 and 50, and your high side gauge should be between 175 and 210, okay? So let's see how that works. All right, now we got the system set up. We got our bottle here facing down. You can also use the small bottles. You know, they sell on the, on the auto parts store. And then what I, what I wanna do is that I am going to uh, open the uh, low side valve right here. So I'm gonna just fill it up a little bit. Okay, so now we have the car running. We have the air conditioning uh, in high, full cold, uh, full speed, and make sure your AC is on. On that, that light should be like lit on. Actually, sometimes what we recommend is that you should, every time you put Freon on, you gotta go into, into the car and rev it up like to 1500 RPMs for 30 seconds Ooh, so that all day the Freon, you know, fills the whole system. All right, friends, so here we got, uh, the temperature went up a little bit, like to 85 degrees, so the readings we should have is like 45 in the low side, 45 in the low side, 225 in the high side, okay? So as you can see here, they are pretty much stable. Uh, they're working pretty good. Inside the car, you got really nice, uh, cool, and it's a process, you gotta, you gotta start uh, putting Freon in the system through the low side and then closing the low side. You gotta accelerate the car to 2,000 two, uh, to RPMs like for one minute, then let the system uh, stabilize again. Make your, do your reading. If it's below, you gotta add, but you gotta be adding a little bit at the time because you don't wanna overload the system because if you overload the system, it won't uh, 
it won't cool down, cool inside the car. Another thing, make sure that your uh, fans are working, okay? When you, when you, when you uh, turn on your AC in your car, your fans should kick on right away. There is no need for them to, you know, to, there, there is no need for the car to be hot. When, when, once you start your AC system, they should kick on right away, all right? Okay, that's it with this video. Now, remember, if you wanna purchase once a set of gauges like this, or you know, or your vacuum pump, I'm gonna leave the link below. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down there. Another thing, very important, never, listen to me, never release Freon into the atmosphere, okay? So if you have to replace some component and you gotta evacuate the system, don't release the Freon to the atmosphere. It's very bad and you could get a really a big fine for that, okay? So, see you next time.